Okay, so I just sit in this chair and talk to this camera. That sounds incredibly interesting. Salutations, it's your old pal Revenge Creature, and I'm back with another Revenge Creature video. And today what we're going to do is kind of a um, all-in-one, almost all-in-one. I want to do um, a mail call, uh, just an update, and... Um, a flea market finds all in one video and then I'm probably going to be doing um, a let's get loose video pretty soon but anyway uh, so well, without any further ado do let's start off with mail call <laughs> uh, first off uh, I want to show one of the figures that I got recently was the 1984 wild weasel and I'm hoping that this is somewhere near the middle of the screen anywho uh, he's Cobra's uh, pilot for the Rattler and uh, one of the last uh, Joes I need to complete the uh, childhood collection. Um, obviously, that's not my uh, stopping point because I've well gone beyond uh, that. But um, anywho, so Wild Weasel, welcome to the fold. Uh, the next mail call item is oh, fantastic. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's the uh, <clears throat> modern version of the tomahawk. It's the eagle hawk. Um, this was from I think last year maybe 2014 anywho uh, it's the tomahawk helicopter it's been updated um, they moved the winch from the bottom to the side um, they uh, simplified not simplified but they made the rotors uh, detachable because that was the main problem with this thing I don't even have the rotors properly extended right now because they take up so much room and that was the problem um, kids you know once you had the rotors on it looked cool but then you really couldn't put it in a toy box but now they've uh, made it where you can, um, you know, at least sort of collapse these into a more storable um, configuration. And um, so there's that. But it's got the, still has the little ramp that comes down the back. It's got the <clears throat> the gun uh, in the mounted on the doors. Um, the uh, control sticks I think have been updated. Um, they're a little more detailed, a little more realistic. I know you probably can't even see in there. And I apologize um, if this angle's wonky, but um, I don't have a, uh, I can't see what's going on right now. Okay, so that's kind of it for mail call. Uh, future episode, uh, I will be doing an unboxing of the some of the 50th anniversary Joe stuff that just came out. Uh, I ordered through Big Bad Toy Store, and surprisingly enough, I'd ordered um, ordered some of them. And then I just uh, ended up canceling a lot of the order, and I just ended up getting uh, two of the Viper and Iron Grenadier two-packs, and the one set that has Heavy Duty and the new character Stiletto in it. Um, okay, so let's jump on to flea market finds. Um, and first off, uh, I'd like to show a few things I got recently uh, from um, one of the booths out there at Trader Baker's. Um, I got this uh, Bugs Bunny pen. Um, it... Um, it moves like this, like he's got his carrot, and then it says, what's up, Doc? But it's an ink pen. But I don't think, um, to my knowledge, that I had anything of Bugs Bunny. So um, I thought this was kind of a cool statue. Um, if I, That's what I'm going to use for, just a Bugs Bunny statue. So, And then next I got this, and um, it's a mug. In 1972, the Jeanette, Jeanette Corporation. Um, it says the junior set, and it has two uh, kids and a dog watching TV. And then the other uh, picture is uh, the, it looks like maybe the girl is watching Frankenstein and getting incredibly spooked. <laughs> uh, but the junior set, now that, I'm not sure if that means like this is the, like the junior set as in the jet set, you know, like this is what the kids do. Or if the junior set was um, like promoting a kid's television um, from that era. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, pretty cool mug. I just love the Frankenstein art. Um, and uh, so this is uh, this is really cool. Um, then uh, also from that same booth, I got this uh, Burger King Kids Meal toy. This is from 1999, but um, it's a globe. And when you hit this little button, it opens up to reveal Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, which um, you know I uh, I didn't watch that show as much as people who were age appropriate at that time, but I uh, I've seen enough where, uh, you know, I can really identify with this character. All right, and so uh, a couple of other, uh, let's see, what else we got here? What's this? Um, 
Um, here's a Batmobile. Uh, this is the um, Tim Burton uh, Batmobile, but it's just been kind of updated. Um, it's got red trim on the wheels, it's got red trim on the vehicle, and the windscreens are red. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and it looks like it's been modified just a little bit, but um, it's from, uh, it's a modern car, you know, obviously. It's from probably 2000s. Um, but I love this version of the Batmobile, and so anytime I can find a, you know, even with this weird paint job, um, I still think that's pretty cool. Because I've got that weird chrome one, too, and eventually I'm going to open about five of these uh, Batmobiles I have been stockpiling. <laughs> Hot Wheels Batmobiles. Uh, let's see. Hot Wheels Batmobiles? I guess that makes sense. Uh, what's next? Okay, um, well, shoot. I don't even know where to go next. Um, I think, I know there's more, uh, but I think I just want to go ahead and jump into, um, some, uh, I th don't know if I've shown off this Sabine, but, uh, I'm really into Rebels now, and thanks to Flea Dog, I'm, I'm getting closer to having them all, and that's what, uh, it's time for the the flea dog finds. This is a flea market finds. Uh, this is another uh, uh, pickup that uh, was uh, passed along to me. Ravage from Titans Return, which uh, you know this is awesome. And uh, the next thing, let's see here. Um, where are those ships? Dog on it. I put too much stuff in here. Oh, uh, this is just a quick aside. Um, this is the, oh mama, oh golly, this is the um, Ray and Resistance outfit and what and Han Solo from The Force Awakens. I don't know if I ever uh, showed uh, these. Um, it's been, I was making videos start, you know, and during that gap, this is when I got those. So I'm not sure if they ever got any proper uh, uh, screen love or not, but uh, there they are. Pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah. Anywho, so there's that. Um... Also, I went out today and saw new uh, Kylo uh, and Ray bobbleheads at Walmart and thought maybe I should get these, but I did not. I think that was today. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Anywho, um, so continuing with the Flea Dog finds, or f the, from the Flea Dog Foundation. Um, oh, that was an original. Okay, okay. So um, here are the, some of the new Hot Wheels Starships. Um, I'm pretty sure I ended up getting all of them um, at Kroger's at some point. Uh, but uh, she uh, got these for me. The um, Imperial Shuttle and Imperial Star Destroyer. Put those out there. Those are really cool. Um, classic ships. I just love how much... I shouldn't say love again, but I just love how much love the original trilogy is getting right now. It's just... Ma, so fantastic. And things are fall. Oh, no! Toys are falling. Anyway, um, that is a bag of extra, <clears throat> uh, extra Joe uh, backpacks and stuff that I've put aside. Okay, um, so let's jump into the last two items. I have an Ezra, and that's from the original series of Rebels, which this is getting opened. Uh, and then this is my oh god, Zeb and Chopper. Uh, Chopper. Now I don't know if I've made this clear or not, but I freaking love Chopper. I know he's a bully to R two, and he was kind of a jerky character, but man, I love that little bucket. So anyway, be cracking this one open on the Let's Get Loose, and I think that might be kind of it right now. Uh, oh, um, oh yeah. Looks like I can't remember what else. Anywho, so that's just a quick update, I guess, and we're going to go ahead and jump into Let's Get Loose. Um, so I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm your old Power Revenge Creature. As always, I've dropped another toy out of my lap. and Doggone it. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those great sites. Not so great sites, but got to love that social me. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, Asquinoxo.